In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a professional website for your photography business using Squarespace. It's a very easy process. I'll show you everything step by step. And with Squarespace, you have access to a ton of different professional templates. So that's why I highly recommend using Squarespace as a total beginner. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you an example of a real photography website that was built using Squarespace. Let's get started. Okay, so if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this page right here, where you guys can get started with your free website trial today. There's no credit card required. All you have to do is just enter in your email. So I'll go ahead and click on get started right here. It's going to ask me what my site is about. So obviously, since we're creating a photography website, we're going to choose photography, then it's going to ask you what your top goals are. So you're just going to choose based off of what you want. Usually for a photography business, we're going to go ahead and showcase our work. We're also going to sell services and we can also get appointments. You guys can choose whatever you want. But for now, I'll just choose that. And then it's going to ask me if I want to choose a professionally designed website template, or if I just want to build a custom template with Squarespace's blueprint. For this example, I'll just go ahead and choose a professionally designed website template. If you guys change your mind, you can always just change it back later. But for now, I'll choose this. Now it's going to take me to the template page where I can choose based off of the website type as well as the topic. So you guys can scroll through and then see whichever ones that you guys like. There's so many different professional templates to look at. But once you guys find something that you like, you can go ahead and hover over it and either preview or you can click start with the template. From there, it's going to ask me to name my website. So I'll just go ahead and name this one test photography website. And cool. So now I'm on the dashboard. And as you guys can see, this is the home page. If I want to go ahead and edit, then I can go ahead and click on edit right here. So let's say I want to edit this text right here. I can go ahead and change this to let's say Los Angeles and then change this to California. If I want, I can go ahead and click on edit section right here and I can change some of the formatting. I can go ahead and go to background right here. As you guys can see, it is this image. If I don't want that, I could change it. I could change the colors of the website. If I want to edit this header, I can go ahead and click here. I can insert my own logo, I can insert a title and elements and scrolling down, I can go ahead and also edit the footer. Let's say I want to add something. So I could just go ahead and click on add section right here. And let's say I want to add a services page. So I'll go ahead and go here. And then now they have a bunch of different service templates that I can choose from. Let's say I want to go with something simple like this right here. So as you guys can see it inserted, I can go ahead and edit this accordion right here. And if I want, I can also just delete it. And another thing that you guys might want to add to your photography website is a portfolio. So you can go ahead and make this a separate page or you could just make it a section on your website. So if I go over to portfolios, you guys can see that they have different templates again. Let's say I want to choose this one right here. So now if I want to edit any of these pictures right here, I just have to go ahead and click on edit content. And then if I go to content, I can go ahead and replace any of these images. And yeah, it's super self-explanatory. You guys can pretty much go into these settings and mess around with it yourself. And if I go ahead and click save and exit right here, I can go back to website where I can basically make different pages. So right now you guys can see that the menu is work, about, and bookings. If you want, you can create a new page right here. And so you have a bunch of different options to mess around when it comes to that. Going back, you can also go to selling right here and you can set up an online store. They also have marketing. So if you guys want to send out any emails or you guys can create other marketing tools on here as well, you can go to contacts where you can see all of your subscribers and all of the people that visit your website. You can also go to your analytics where you can see things like traffic, engagement, and sales. They also have a scheduling page. So this is where you guys can start booking appointments. Super self-explanatory. Again, all you have to do is just enter in your name. From there, you guys can just set up your first appointment type as well as a price. And then you set up your availability. So what days and what times you're available. And then you'll also be able to connect payment platforms like Stripe, Square, or PayPal. And this is going to give your clients more ways to book and pay online, especially nowadays when everything is online, people are going to love this. And yeah, other than that, you just have some settings as well as an asset library. So this asset library is basically where you upload all of your images and videos. And yeah, once you guys are done, you guys can click on this button right here to preview your website make sure everything is good and everything is working. So you can click on all the buttons. And from there, all you have to do is just subscribe to get your website published. So I can go ahead and click on subscribe right here. As you guys can see, the free trial ends in 14 days. So if you guys are interested, we'll leave a link down below for you guys can get started with the 14 day free trial. But looking at some of their plans, they have a personal, which is $16 per month, all the way up to $49 per month for their commerce advanced. This is pretty similar to other platforms like Wix. So with this, you guys get access to a free custom domain name. You guys get SSL security, unlimited bandwidth, and a bunch of other features. But if you guys want to upgrade to the business or the commerce plans, that would be better for online stores. But yeah, from there, all you have to do is just select a plan. And from there, just enter in your credit card information and then click on continue. So now here's an example of a photography business business website that was made on Squarespace. As you guys can see, it's super simple. They just have the logo right here. They have the menu of all the different services that they have at the top right hand 
bottom corner. They have a preview of some of the photos that were taken. And yeah, let's say we're looking for a graduation photo shoot. So we'll just click on that. And now we have this page where it's just some text, a little bit of information on some of the booking. And then it has a Calendly link where you guys can schedule. This is a pretty old website. So nowadays with Squarespace, you guys can use the scheduling feature that I showed you. So there's no need to use something like Calendly. Yeah, as you guys can see, Squarespace can create really, really simple websites if you want it to. Down here, you guys can see there's a portfolio of a bunch of example work. And yeah, it's super simple to create using Squarespace. You guys saw that it was all just click and drag. And yeah, that's pretty much it for how to create a professional website on Squarespace for your photography business. If you guys want a specific video on anything website related, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And also make sure to like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials related to WordPress as well as website building. So yeah, if you know somebody who's interested, feel free to share it with them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, 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 oh,